Hello and welcome again as we consider yet another multiple choice question for IB Chemistry. Which compound can exist as cis trans isomers? And when this question appeared in the IB exam, the examiners noted that it was a very poor discriminator, which means that the choices that the students made in the exam varied almost equally among the four options. It's usually that students might choose the right answer and you will have another choice that's very popular which is termed as the distractor in the question. This particular question though didn't surprise me that students responded in this way because it's for a couple of reasons. This belongs to topic 20 of the IB chemistry guide which comes toward the end of the syllabus. It's a time when many students are less focused on the work that's happening in the syllabus and on top of that many teachers including myself would focus on cis trans isomerism with alkenes like these with the double bond as the point of unsaturation and then you talk about cis trans isomerism in structures like this one but it neglects the possibility of cis trans isomerism existing in ring structures in cyclic structures because what makes these two possible isomers exist is this area here is this double bond in this case which makes it impossible for these two structures here to to move it makes it impossible for there to be rotation about this carbon because of the double bond system and the same on this side so whatever you have here if it's an H and if it's a CH3 here and if it's a CL here and if it's a BR here, whatever you have, they can't be moved back and forth. Actually, in this case, because the two higher priority groups, this versus this, and this versus this, because the two higher priority groups are on the same side, you happen to have the Z isomer. And you have this moved around, and if this is flipped over this way, then you would have the E version of the isomer. The E and Z notation is what's required by the IB chemistry guide. But getting back to this specific question, where the answer is C, we need to pay attention to what's going to happen in a cyclic structure like this. And in this cyclic structure, a hydrogen is understood here, and then you have a CH3. A hydrogen is understood here, and then you have a CH3. And once you have this scenario, it's going to be impossible for there to be rotation between this and this. And this too would give rise to cis trans isomerism or to EZ isomerism. Actually, in this case, with the two CH3s being on the same side, this too would be a Z conformation. But that is not being assessed in this question. It's just about trying to identify which of these four will have. And the reason it's going to be this and not these is because when you have this structure, all you have attached are hydrogens here and here and two here and here. So it's all hydrogens, there's nothing to move. And then you have this structure here where you have two fluorines on the same side. So the fact that they can't rotate doesn't make any difference. And you have the two BRs on this side. So that doesn't make any difference. And here with this, even though you have two different groups over on this side, and here in the case of A, this is the structure that you have. CH2, then the double bond, then a CH, then a CH2, CH3, which is all of this. So then these two being the same would mean that you won't have cis trans isomerism or easy isomerism. And the only possible case would be where you have this cyclic structure. And it's important that when you look at cis trans isomerism or EZ isomerism, that you don't just focus on alkenes, but you are aware that cycloalkanes, where you have rings, those can also give rise to cis trans or EZ isomerism.